What is going on guys, this is Women Most be here and in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the best render settings for Premiere Pro. So guys, as I said in the intro, today I'm going to be showing you how the best render settings for Premiere Pro and this is 1920 or yeah 1920 by 1080 so basically 1080 on youtube so if you need 720 i'll make a video on that but this is 1920 by 1080 so literally if you can hit well over 100 likes on this video like 110 or something because i would really appreciate hitting 100 likes because we're pretty much doing every video now and i'm really happy about that i really want to thank you all for helping me helping me fucking i can't talk today helping me hit um well, let's say we are at 3.6k now, like what the fuck, we're growing quicker than, quicker than I don't even know, but yeah, um, so today I'm gonna just going to be showing you how to, like the best editing settings for Premiere Pro, and personally I think Premiere Pro is one of the best editing softwares, at least for me, because I really like Adobe, and I like their products. I did use Vegas before, but I really don't like it anymore, so just for personal reasons, because I just really think it was crashing all the time literally just being shit so I'm just gonna show you how to like not how to but like the best render settings for Premiere Pro so you basically just gonna put in your files and once you're done editing and all that you're gonna just play it and see if it's actually all good and by the way if you didn't know this is my new intro so you'll just see you just saw this and start the video but anyway I'm gonna keep playing What is going on guys, this is Women Must Be here and in today's video guys, I am going to be showing you how to edit the intro template for free. Now guys, once you have everything that you need, like edit and all, of course I haven't edited this at all, but anyway, uh, go on file, go on export, go on media, and once you're here, you'll on format, or like you're just gonna get this export thing up first. But once you're here, you're going to click on format, you're going to keep it as H.264 just because it's one of the best ones. Match source, high bit rate, so you're going to go all the way down to, I'm going to find it here in a second. So you got YouTube 1080, you can always course choose 20, 2160 which is 4K, 720, 480, you, you know this, but um, I'm just going to use for YouTube 1080p. So you can just change the name of the output, so I'm going to call it test1, click save. Once you've done that, you don't really need to worry about anything right here. So you go on video, and basically if your video is 60 frames, go here, you're going to unlock this thing, and select 60 frames. And if it is 30 frames, select 30 frames, because 60 frames will look so horrible if it is not really 60 frames. So keep it at if 60 frames if it's actually 60 frames. So you're gonna go all the way down here, not all the way down. You can basically just fuck around with these settings if you really need to, but personally I don't really need to fuck around with them because they're usually just standard for me. But you don't really need to do anything right here. Go on audio, so make sure your audio is 48,000 or yeah, yeah, just make sure it's 48,000 because that's one of the best qualities. Uh, stereo, it's good. You can of course choose whatever you want. 5.1 is surround sound. I barely, and I, I don't think anyone will listen to this unless it's surround sound. But yeah, so let's get. Oh, shit, I just changed it. <laughs> so you're gonna go to a multiplex. You don't need to mess with anything here. You don't need to mess with anything here. You're gonna go to publish. You don't need to mess with anything with here. And of course, you can just choose whatever you want on this thing. This, this doesn't really matter, like Android tablet, just just use YouTube 1080p because it's the best one. And yeah. Um I would recommend use if you're even as 4K, use 4K of course, but if you don't if you use 4K and it's not even 4K, it look horrible. I've learned that before I tried to do that, it look horrible. So just use 1080p and then change the settings to 60 frames. And also just change some other settings like audio if it's not 48,000. But guys, that's pretty much been the whole video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Let's go for over 100 likes. Let's just say 110 likes. 
and if you can hit that I'll make another video on uh, sorry I mean inactive yeah, like just I come home from school and I'm so tired of making videos and yeah that's pretty much it so guys anyway this has been Weird Miles for you and I'm out